Uh, yeah, so this Saturday we'll head down to Bismarck and you Mary's hosting, I believe, their first home meet in about like 30 years or so. And um, say he's got a brand new track, so we're excited to head, get down there. It'll mostly be for our sprinters, jumpers, and throwers, um, kind of uh, give them an opportunity to showcase all their hard work that they put in through the fall um, and kind of give them a, a bar of you know where they are heading into the winter break. Can you kind of talk about your uh, multiple scenes of uh, what we expect to see from, from them this year, both men and women? Yeah, so, you know, um, on our women's side, we return, um, you know, Michaela Larson, who qualified last year in the 5,000 meters, uh, Shea Peterson, who qualified in the long jump. Um, we have a host of new, new faces on the women's side. Uh, so we're definitely very excited about uh, kind of getting some new blood in there, I guess. Uh, you know, hopefully we can score a few more points. Uh, Taylor Lohmeyer is a freshman. Uh, we expect her to contribute on the women's throws. Um, and then Sydney Spillum now, uh, she she returns uh, also for our throwers. On the men's side, uh, you know, we, our men's uh, throws group was probably our best group. They are nationally ranked last year throughout indoor and outdoor track. And um, the majority of them were upperclassmen. Um, so uh, again, we, we have a host of new faces. Um, you know, Daniel Daffenrod uh, returns on the sprint side. Uh, Devin Chumway is coming off a big cross country season. Um, and then, you know, on our men's throws, you know, we indoors, uh, Victor Abiani, he will, he will throw one last time this Saturday at U Mary um, for us. Uh, he's in his 10th semester, so uh, he'll be out of eligibility um, once this semester is over, unfortunately. But, uh, i um, super proud of um, he, him giving it one last heave, I guess, and representing us um, in competition. Um, so our men's side, you know, on the throws, we're a little depleted, but, you know, I'm excited where both programs are heading. I think we're taking a huge step in the right direction in terms of just building, building this thing up, building the culture, um, and, you know, per performances will come over time. Oh, go ahead. Who are some of the new faces you think could step up this year? Um, on our men's side, Clarence Hardy, uh, on our, he'll be doing triple and long jump and a few short sprints. I think he, um, you know, I've watched him practice a few times. I think he certainly has the ability to be a conference scorer for us um, and contribute in a big way. Um, Ryan Kohler, uh, a freshman, he'll be running distance. I think, um, you know, he was probably our top distance recruit last year. Um, so I certainly expect him to hopefully contribute. Um, other than that, you know, most of the people that I think we'll be counting on on the men's side are returners or people that have been around, like Colin Olson, Dante Gabois um, in the middle distances, Devin uh, in, long, in the 5K on the track, 3K, 5K. Um, on the women's side, uh, again, Taylor Lohmeyer, I think we're pretty excited about her. You know, again, I've seen her. Uh, in the weight room and practice a few times and our throws co our new throws coach Tanner Gust um, has you know said she has shown the ability that we think potentially she could again be on the podium as a freshman um, and contribute um, um, Lauren Reeves uh, who we saw in cross country I think can come in and uh, you know put her nose in, in in the 3k 5k and potentially the mile so um, and then again on the mostly on the women's side uh, as far as people who we think can contribute uh, our, our returners you mentioned Devin some way uh, can you just go a little bit more in depth about what he brings to the team yeah I think you know Devin is coming off a big cross-country season I think he had a big breakthrough athletically um, you know obviously set the school record in the 8k so I you know we're hoping that can continue to transition um, as we head into the indoor season I know he has high expectations for himself and uh, when I've talked to him I've said you know you've sort of raised the bar um, in terms of what we're expecting out of you and um, I think you know from a leadership perspective being an upperclassman he brings that voice that uh, can kind of get everyone on the same page that kind of uh, keeps everyone positive um, all of that kind of stuff so you know he contributes not only athletically but I think also from a, a team culture standpoint he's been a great asset um, in relaying you know uh, what I have to say over to the team.